Isn't it fun to be right? Don't you feel, I don't know, validated or um, confident in what you know or just really like you're, you're on top of things? Well, today in this video, we are going to talk about how being right can actually keep you from the prosperity mindset. So today I was gonna get up, I had it all laid out, I was going to talk about some marketing today. And guess what, that's on the back burner because I woke up and oh my gosh, I had broken sleep last night and woke up just feeling so tired. <laughs> like I woke up in the wrong part of the sleep cycle and just feeling you know, like I needed to take it really slow and just like today was gonna be one of those days. Ever feel like that? Like today is gonna be one of those days. It's, it feels like Monday. It's not Monday, but it feels like Monday. Well, about two years ago now, I was studying under one of my favorite teachers, Carol Tuttle, and she said something very, very plain, very simple. She'd said it a million times before that whatever patterns we have, we bring to whatever we do. So I have to admit, I'm one of those people who is very often right. <laughs> I am, I can see things, I can see how patterns fit together, I am very often right. And what I realized in that moment was that being right was actually bringing a lot of struggle into my life. So I was bringing in this pattern of rightness. And here's what that looks like on a day like today. So today, again, I woke up feeling kind of tired and just off and if I were going to be right in my way I'm seeing the day, then I am going to bring that pattern into my brain at all times. I'm going to be going, oh, looking at all of the ways that the day isn't working out for me, all the ways that I'm feeling tired, all of the ways that my brain isn't feeling clear, all of the ways that it's just a bad day, right? All in the name of me being right. <laughs> <laughs> right? So, I seriously, I realized how much that rightness was bringing suffering and struggling to my mind. And so really today in this video, we're talking about how do you flip that and where is it really affecting your career? Your rightness is affecting your career. What patterns are you bringing? So when I prejudge my day, I am automatically looking through that lens of struggle and strife. I'm not gonna have a good day. However, if I'm able to set that mindset aside, I can come into the day from a different mindset. And that's what I wanna talk about one, one that is very intentional. So that whenever I notice that struggle, that strife, that rightness creeping into my brain, I have something to replace it with. Now, this is called an intention. If you don't know me, I am a fearless living coach, a master coach, trainer, and teacher with the Fearless Living Institute, which is all about busting through those emotional fears like fear of failure, fear of rejection, fear of success, <laughs> that's another good one, fear of being wrong, perhaps, right? So there is a tool called Intentions in the Fearless Living Toolkit that I wanna share with you today, and it's really how I started to shift into a better mindset, not the struggling strife mindset, but how to shift into more of a prosperity mindset. And then we're gonna apply that same thing to your creative business. So when I look at my day, and I have a day like I woke up today, just feeling bleh, instead of being right, I want to say that I am willing to practice. So let me say that, that's the fearless way of saying it. I am willing to practice. So number one, it needs to be something that I am willing to do. Oh, hi, Paula. <laughs> number two, it needs to be something that I can practice. Practice helps keep us out of that black and white mindset. So that if I, my practice isn't going good, it's okay because I'm just practicing. So when I wake up feeling like, oh, today's going to be a terrible day. I'm so tired. Oh, I'm not feeling right. I am willing to practice being wrong. I'm willing to practice seeing possibilities. I'm willing to practice being open to seeing new things. I am willing to practice seeing the magic. So what are you willing to practice? Like I said, let's just apply it to one of those off days. What are you willing to practice 
that will let you move out of that struggle and strife mindset into a more prosperous mindset. Because if you're moving through your day from that tired, disempowered, can't think straight, oh, this is a bad day, everything's going wrong. If you're going through your day like that, you're actually going to manifest that type of day. You're going to see everywhere that things are going wrong and you're gonna create more struggle and strife in the physical reality. So not just in your mind, but in physical reality. But what if you're open? What if you are looking at possibilities? What if you're open to seeing magic, right? That's when that mindset starts to shift and your day starts to shift. So I said we were going to talk about how this applies to your creative work as well, your creative business, your job. So if I'm going into something thinking, oh, I'm going to have a bad day. I'm not going to be creative. I'm not going to, excuse me, I'm not going to be able to sell this work. My work isn't good enough. If that is my struggle and strife mindset, if I'm going into something prejudging it that way, prejudging my work, here's another good one. People won't buy what I do. People won't buy, you know, it's a luxury item. People won't buy. If I'm prejudging that, just like the bad day, I'm putting on a lens or a filter where I'm going to see all my work, all the reactions to my work in that lens, through that lens. Right. I'm going to see. (coughs) Excuse me. I told you it's morning and this. (coughs) Excuse me. So I'm going to see it through that lens and I'm going to actually create more of that in my physical reality. I'm going to see everything that goes wrong. Every person who doesn't like my work, every mistake in my work. I'm going to be seeing it through that and I'm going to get more disempowered. I'm going to lose my confidence. I'm going to lose my motivation and I'm going to lose my inspiration. And if you're approaching your job, your business, your work like that, that's what you're going to get more of, that struggle and strife. So what are you willing to do with your creative business, with your job? (laughs) Hi, Carmelina. Thank you. I'm so glad it's helping you. Um, What are you going to do? How are you willing to, to practice? What are you willing to practice so that you can shift your mindset about your work into a more prosperous mindset? We can use the same thing as we use during the day, right? I'm willing to be open to the possibilities. I am willing to practice seeing the magic. I am willing to practice being wrong about how my work is going to be perceived, right? So where are you willing to shift into a prosperity mindset? And here's how you do it. So you're gonna wanna create that intention. You are willing to practice something that's going to, again, shift you out of that that self-rejection, that rejection of the day, that rejection of your work, that rejection of how people will perceive your work. You wanna pick something that's going to shift you out of that into a different way of being, a different mindset, openness, possibilities, seeing the magic, willing to practice being wrong, willing to practice seeing how people love my work, willing to practice seeing acceptance, right? So where can you do that? What do you want to do? And then once you have that, it's a great idea to just write it down because when you are, well, let me speak for myself. When I'm in that mindset, it's very challenging for me to get out sometimes because, right, my brain just wants to pick everything apart and see what's wrong. So have it written down and start to notice whenever your brain goes, see, you were right. No one likes your work. See, you were right. No one's buying art. See, you were right. You're just not good enough. You pull that out. If you don't have it top of mind, you pull that out and remind yourself, no, I am willing to practice being open to the possibilities or whatever your intention is. So thank you all for watching. I love Carrie Ann. Hi. I'm so glad to have you and I hope this has been of use to you. If you're watching the replay, I'd love it if you hit like, because that brings it up into the feed for other artists, other creatives in our community. Hit like, and also, I'd love to hear a comment about if this has helped you, if you have had any, had any insights, or you know, maybe you even wanna drop your intention. What are you willing to practice? So again, today, for me, I am practicing, I'm willing to practice being open to seeing the possibilities and the magic. I'm gonna put those both in today. And uh, I'm gonna move a little slower today, and that's okay but I am so willing 
to practice being wrong. I'm so willing for this day to be different than how I prejudged it when I started. So bye-bye all you abundant artists. Take care, have a fabulous day, and make it a fabulous day. Bye-bye.